integrity for me is absolutely important and critical for my organization and for how we, we operate. Um, having other leaders around the table who share that same thing, um, that's, that's huge. Okay, my name is Harold Reinders. I am a father of three boys and a loving husband of a wife of 35 years. I got an awesome family and I'm now a grandfather. I got three great uh, daughter-in-laws as well. Um, I'm also a leader in an organization of uh, uh, about 500 people. I'm the CEO of a company called Maple Reiners Constructors and um, it is a privilege to be sitting in that seat. And, uh, we were smaller back then and but growing, right? That was a time where there was a lot of growth beginning, just about to begin for our organization. And uh, we needed that next step of, of, you know, people around us that actually had walked paths that were about to walk. And so uh, that was a big part of it. For me, I knew that, listen, I was a young guy. I, I have my experiences, but I want to learn from other people's experiences. And so uh, what John was offering and what the CEO of Global Group was offering just made so much sense. There was an opportunity to have peers around you that would invest in me and I could invest in them. Um, and you know, it's a reciprocal type of relationship that, that uh, really works well. Because I think um, intimidation was my first reaction, right? It's like, holy cow, I'm around a bunch of powerhouse people. You learn very quickly. They're people just like you and me. Um, and John, I think, uh, exemplifies that as well. Um, there's not a, a, a level of, of individual that he puts above others and he treats everyone the same. And being in the groups themselves, I think it really challenged me because there was that candor that was there. That, that candor that was hard to find. You know, when you're a leader in an organization, it's hard to get that candor from your staff. So to have peers around you, um, sometimes it can be a little, uh, kind of catches you. But the reality is it's there for your investment. It's for you to grow. And um, the culture around CEO Global has been very much that. And um, I absolutely love that. I love that. And, and it's helped me grow. And, and being part of it, I've seen others grow. And I've been able to be part of that as well. Because I don't want to just take. I want to be giving as well. And so being in those peer groups where you've got 10, 12 other CEOs sitting around the table, um, you have an opportunity to actually speak to them things they need to hear that no one else will say. So I've had five leaders now, and each one brought a different character trait and a different skill set to the table that I needed at different stages of my career development. Um, you know, there was uh, John Granger, he was a hard ass. He was a tough dude, right? And I needed that at that time. I needed that accountability. I needed someone who was gonna be there to say, you know, you've got to get this done. This is your role. And he held me accountable to that. Um, there were other leaders that, that really tapped into other skill sets that I needed to develop. And so that leader, when you have that one-to-one -one development, that's, that's a real opportunity to, to, first off, learn from them and their experience over the years. Um, but also to, to uh, uh, they're there to really guide the group as a whole as well. And so I've seen a lot of great uh, leaders over the years, um, both in the groups but as group leaders, and uh, how they've managed that group and really bring that group to solidify them as a, as a team is, is really important too. So, yeah, it's been great. For me, CEO Global has been um, an organization where I found myself in a lot of ways as an executive. I had to find myself, and that's there were people along the path, both those leaders, but John was a big part of that. John has been an incredible encouragement, right? And, and so I value that. You know, you really value the, well, guys like that that come along, and they're rare.